I will always keep my videos here free. The only thing that I ask from you is to like and subscribe to my page. And also check me out on Patreon. Thank you so much. In this video, we're going to be talking about the coverage of different kinds of antibiotics. I think this is something that'll help you for like rounding, figuring out what antibiotics will work for a specific patient, and practice questions where you don't know the exact answer, but at least you can probably narrow down some stuff based on what you know. So let's get started. The first one is the penicillin class. As you can see here, the penicillins are really good for gram-positive bugs. Then we have the amoxicillin slash ampicillin drug. These are also good for gram-positives, but also have some gram-negative coverage. Augmentin and Unison both cover gram-positives, gram-negatives, as well as anaerobes. So sometimes I used to get confused, like which ones cover anaerobes, which don't cover anaerobes, but this chart's going to make your life a lot easier. Then we have the methicillin, oxacillin, kind of like the penicillins, so that's how I remember that one. They cover gram positives. Then we have this class. This is like your Zosin that's very, very commonly used in the hospital, as well as other medication, Ticarcillin clavulinate. I don't know if that's how you say it, but this medication covers a lot. And it's one of the few that actually cover for pseudomonas. So this covers gram positive, gram negatives, pseudomonas, and anaerobes. And so a lot of times this is used as empiric drug coverage. Then we have all of the cephalosporins. So the first generation, we have the gram positive and gram negative coverage. Second generation adds a little bit of more gram negative coverage, but still no pseudomonas. And also the second generation has some that cover anaerobes. That's the cefoxitin, cefotitin. The third generation has less gram positive, more gram negative, and one of them does cover for pseudomonas, ceftazidine. So one of the reasons you, you should know about pseudomonas is because it's a really, really bad bug to get. And so you have to be familiar with what medications can work on pseudomonas. Fourth generations will cover gram positives, gram negatives, and pseudomonas. And then we have the fifth generations, which don't cover pseudomonas, but it covers MRSA. So fourth and fifth, the only difference is fourth covers pseudomonas, not MRSA, but fifth does not cover pseudomonas, and it does cover MRSA. Then we have the carbapenems. These are very, very broad spectrum. They cover basically everything except the atypicals and MRSA. Also, ertapenem will not cover pseudomonas. Then we have these two medications, astrionam, which honestly I've never seen it used, but it does cover gram negatives and pseudomonas, and the quinolones, which it seems like every year there's a new issue with the quinolones. They cover some gram positive, they cover gram negative, they cover pseudomonas. Moxifloxacin will also cover anaerobes and atypicals. We have the aminoglycosides that cover gram negatives and pseudomonas. We have the Bactrum that covers MRSA, gram positives, and gram negatives. We have the Macrolides. It covers gram positives, gram negatives, and also atypicals. We also have the tetracyclines. Doxycycline will cover MRSA, gram positives, gram negatives, atypicals, but it does not cover pseudomonas or anaerobes. There's also tigacycline, which basically covers everything except pseudomonas, but honestly, I've, I've never seen it used myself. Then we have a couple of these guys that cover the MRSAs. Sometimes in high-risk patients, you really worry about pseudomonas and MRSA. So in this case, we have clindamycin, vancomycin, dapamycin, linozolid. They all cover gram positives. They also cover for MRSA. Clindamycin will also cover for anaerobes. And finally, we have these two medications that personally I've never seen used myself, phosphomycin, which covers some gram positive, gram negative, and pseudomonas, and colistin, which is the same thing without gram positive coverage. So I'll leave this for you here to screenshot. I wish I had this before. Honestly, this is something that would have been very, very helpful to me. All I ask is for you to like and subscribe to my page, and I'll see you next time.